This sweet pea. So we got to talk about no longer allowing people to make their problems your problem. Because the more that you're just loving and empathic, you know, I know I feel it. Okay, that's me too. We just love it and give it. And we feeling bad for people and feeling sorry for people. And we think that this is helping. But no, what it really is, is we're enabling them to now manipulate our feelings and emotions based off of their problems. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of empathy, right? But you got to make sure your empathy is in the right place. So I'm going to tell you about my little toxic relationship story, okay? Because I'm going to be telling a lot of toxic relationship stories. So my ex-husband, I tell you, he had me in a, a lock, okay? He had me in a chokehold for a whole decade. I say a whole decade. I wasn't allowed to have no friends, okay? I was not allowed to even barely hang out with my kids, my own family. I wasn't allowed to talk on the phone. I wasn't allowed to eat certain things, wear certain things, do anything that I wanted to do ultimately. Now, mind you, I dealt with this for a whole decade, okay? A whole decade. I missed out on so many experiences, so much happiness, I was, you know, stalked and, and treated like trash. I had a tracker on my phone. I couldn't do nothing. And it was just ridiculous. And you know why? Because of his issues. Because he was abandoned as a child. It wasn't even really abandoned. His story is, oh, my mom just wasn't there for me. Yet his mom raised him. I know this woman, okay? Oh, well, it's because, you know, I, I, I was just always treated like the black sheep of the family. And, oh, I just, it's because no one ever wants me or loves me. So I just need all your attention and love 24-7, 24-7. And it's like, okay, so I let this person now ruin my life for a whole decade. Didn't build healthy relationships, didn't go down the career path that I want, was extremely overweight, miserable, not happy. And all of this because of what? Their childhood abandonment issues. That has nothing to do with me at the end of the day. And so I want you guys to really see here where you can allow someone else's hurt, pain, problems, even if it's just perceived to affect you, to ruin your life, to hold you back from being the star that you are. So when people come in with a sob story, it's okay to have a little empathy. It's okay to support. I hope you make it through it, brother, sister. I hope you, I, I'm praying for you, okay? But don't let that be a catalyst for them to now control and manipulate you because at the end of the day, we're all grown and everyone's responsible for their own healing, their own growth, and their own feelings. And so this is going to be important in order for you to keep a healthy and happy lifestyle so that you don't feel hostage to someone else's problems. It's just not right. All right. That is it, boo. Bye.